What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I will show you a bunch of motors sold by Green Gecko Workshop that can be used as a replacement for Power Functions motors. If you are not familiar with the name, Green Gecko Workshop is well known for his cool pneumatic creations, especially the impressive pneumatic motors, I really suggest to take a look at them. When the LEGO Power Functions motors were discontinued at the end of last year, we were left without an official supply and can only rely on the secondary market, which usually means used motors, unless you are prepared to spend lots of money. There were several alternative solutions available in the past years already, but until I could buy new, genuine LEGO motors, I was not really interested in them. Well, the game has changed now, and I want to make something clear before we jump into this. There are heated debates on different forums whether such alternative motors like these or the Bovis motors are acceptable or not. My point is simple. Since the original ones are not sold by LEGO officially anymore and there's like zero chance to see them again, I'm fine with replacements. And no, it does not mean that I think copied LEGO sets are fine, even if they are discontinued. Used LEGO bricks are not like used motors. So what do we have here? Here's a servo, the three different power functions motor sizes, the buggy motor, some metal joints, and an interesting remote and receiver that offers much more than you would expect for the first sight. I was looking for a server replacement in the first place, since the price for those really skyrocketed on the secondary market. I found Green Gecko's website and ordered a couple of motors for testing. As a disclaimer, I bought some of these, some of them were kindly sent for testing for free, but obviously that won't affect my opinion. So let's start with the servo, as that was kind of a disappointment for me. Unlike the LEGO Power Function servo motor, most compatible servos available today have only center, full left, full right positions. This is fine until you only use them with the small IR remote that has no proportional control. The one with the green piece is the original, the other one is the compatible one. That one has no LEGO logo at the back. With this remote they behave similarly, although they rotate in an opposite direction. With the Power Function's proportional remote the difference is clearly visible, the compatible servo does not have multiple positions, and unfortunately there's an occasional weird shaking if the angle is not zero already, but it's somewhere near that. This behavior is also visible with S-brick or boobies, although with some power curve tweaking the shaking could be potentially reduced. Another weak point is the axle hole. It has almost no friction and the axle is not held in place properly. Unfortunately this motor won't be used frequently due to its limitations. Here we have three motors, similar to the power functions XL, L and M motors. Two of them can be recognized again by the lack of LEGO logo. The XL on the other hand has an inverted color scheme. I prefer this solution as it clearly shows that it is not made by LEGO. The XL hole is much better on these, the friction is the usual one. Here is my good old LEGO speed computer and we can compare their speeds with it. As you can see, the compatible motors are actually significantly faster than the power function's counterparts, and this is true for all of them. Now let's see their power. Here is a simple comparison with the Drag Racer from 2016. The alternative medium and large motors both seem to perform better than the original counterparts, the Drag Racer has enough power to move faster with them. The XL however is worse. It cannot climb the same ramp as the power function's one. Apparently, with the higher speed it has less torque. So, in general we can say that these compatible motors are faster, the medium and large versions have more power as well, with the XL the gain is not that clear. I can't say much yet about their reliability, but I will test them on a longer run. The next one is a compatible version of the LEGO RC buggy motor. The main difference is the integrated cable, the original one requires a power functions extension cable to work. Let's test the unloaded speed, the compatible version seems to be pretty similar to the original one, there's only a minor difference. Here's a very quick and dirty combination, the buggy motor mounted on the dragster and powered by Bovis 3.0. As you see, in the speed test there's not much difference, both are very fast. Again, a more detailed testing will follow to see the limits of the motors. These metal joints are quite interesting, I could not really come up with a stress test immediately as I don't have any builds at hand breaking the plastic Lego joints, but I will keep them in mind and test in a build in the future. Here is the last product today and probably the most interesting one. This receiver and remote combination. Looks like the standard power functions infrared receiver and remote, but it actually works with 2.4 GHz wireless technology and a whopping 100 meter range is promised. As you know the original IR receiver only works for a few meters and it's even worse in direct sunlight. Now let's see the difference. Here is the original one and here is the compatible version. 
Indoors they both seem to work fine, even without a direct line of sight, until the IR signals can bounce off the walls and the floor. If it does not happen, then the LEGO version won't work. Now let's see the performance outdoors. We have strong sunlight, they both work from this distance, but as we slowly go farther, at around 1 meter the LEGO receiver already starts to lose the signal, so it's not really useful to control any vehicle. The compatible version is completely fine here, so let's walk a bit. Now we are somewhere between 15 and 20 meters from the receiver, and as you can see it still runs fine. While the description claims 100 meter range, but based on my experience this usually happens in ideal conditions. Here we are in the city with lots of interference. So this is the maximum distance where I could make this work reliably without any obstacles between the remote and the receiver, this is around 60 meters. Not 100, but still very impressive. Unfortunately the remote has no proportional levers, I would love to see one with this range, would be a real game changer for remote controlled LEGO vehicles. So that was all for today, I think some of these products definitely worth to explore. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe and tap that notification bell so you won't miss my upcoming LEGO reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye!